Setting a battle plan on the tour of the Basque Country is a difficult task at the best of times. But this stage, a long 193 kilometre run to Litsa, was even more so. So many potential winners, it was difficult for teams to have a definitive battle plan. Adaptability, possibly the name of the game. Well, with plenty of climbs and indeed some extraordinarily technical descents, particularly at the finale, this was going to be one for the brave. Berenetschia was one of those. He was part of a six-man breakaway that went off and up the road. Alan Yuzom of Total Energies, along with Javier Romo, were very well placed within the group as well overall. So bonus seconds were perhaps going to be important. The yellow jersey was always going to disappear from the back of Ethan Hayter. He was doing early work. Well, if you want to get help, sometimes it's best just to help yourself. And Mikkel Lander did precisely that. No time trial within this race, and that's favoured him. And he left the peloton behind, hunting for bonus seconds with the final intermediate sprint, bridged over to the breakaway, and indeed formed part of it. Took those bonus seconds at the final intermediate sprint, and in so doing, amongst the favourites, put himself in a very good position overall. Unchallenged as he was, I think the break, what left of it, were grateful of the engine room assistance, to be fair. Well, this day took a few prisoners. One of those could well have been this man. Kamian had found himself on the deck. Didn't stop him pushing on. There were others that rolled the dice as well. Balderston for Kaya Rural really have animated this race and had a, a potential winner in uh, Orlius Alua, who finished fifth on the opening stage. Well, the attacks just reined in the closer we got to the finale. And with a descent into town that many described as dangerous, getting over the top in a good position was absolutely vital. Asana tried softening up with David de la Cruz after Romo from the break had been caught. And in fact, there were crashes on the descent, something that was brought up by the day's winner. Herring down the mountain pass. They came into town. and You had to be very brave on the day, but who would have what it took to stretch out at the end? Movistar had been busy throughout. Alex Aramburu tried to play his hand after coming close and finishing fourth yesterday. Well, strong, fast, brave and technically adept were the vital mix, and Ida Schelling had precisely that. In fact, he sailed through the final corners, took the biggest win of his career, in so doing, also garnered the leader's jersey, and at the same time offered up some criticism, I must say, to those who'd planned the finale. He said it was just downright dangerous. Great finish, fabulous winner. David Godou getting a, a stunning podium spot as well to grab Four vital bonus seconds. Sobrero just edged for Jaco at the line. Ida Schelling in charge of the race, almost surprisingly so, but nobody more so than him. Leading the young riders classification and overall by a margin of four seconds. Happy boy. Confirmation of how they stand overall. But look at Mikel Lander with those vital seconds picked up out on the course and Jonas Vingago with a good finish as well. The greats, though, still to stretch their legs. This race continues. And with the walls tomorrow, who will win? Nobody knows. That's what's so wonderful about the Tour of the Basque Country.